Um, so, the thing I'm mainly doing out here in this uh, beautiful place, the camera can see where I am. Hello, horsey. Um, this is to uh, finalize the whole AFR Lambda testing series that I did. Um, there's about six videos or so, and there's also one that may be in there to do with the uh, accelerator pump calibration that I did, and that worked fine. And uh, now I've settled on, this is the jets I've settled on at this point. Uh, the ones I've decided to go, well I went all the way from 68 down to 55, and I've settled on 62. Now I thought I was going to settle on the 65s, but uh, once I put them in and and set up the mixture, I realized that uh, I didn't want to use those because the when I calibrate it, the bike runs runs best, um, and I'm doing this entirely by how it runs, how it feels, how it how it sounds, and the power I can feel, and so on, how it responds. That's how I'm setting it up, not by way of the uh, AFR values, which were just you know not you know it's just basically too rich according to that but that's pretty typical for this kind of engine um, now I when I have the 65s and the 68s in the mixture screws they operate it's like a, a rod that goes across a hole like that like that and as it starts to open the most significant part of its opening occurs at about one turn out the slot starts to expose and then as it comes out all the way it leaves that opening fully open at around two and a half to three turns maybe two and three quarter turns and so the point that it should really you want it to be adjustable is somewhere in the middle there somewhere in that range so that um, as you go you know up and down either side to then zero in on the best spot it's somewhere in that open range now with the 68s and the 65s it tends to be right at the edge right at the closing point um, which is uh, the least amount of air is it now as you go open it's richer so it's the least amount of fuel and so I'm using a smaller jet so I need more fuel and that takes the uh, screw out a little bit and gets me into the one and a quarter or so range um, which is preferable for me. Um, I find I can set it up to run very nicely with almost any of the jets. The only difference was the uh, really the overall feel of the power that was the main difference. Um, other than that not really. You could, I found I could set it up to run perfectly with any of the jets. I've gone for the 145 mains uh, stock is 60 on the idle, so I'm going. So I'm using 62. So that's not that far off. Um, the mains are 145s. Stock is a 135 and a 140, one way or the other. I forget. Um, and I'm using the. So I've just gone a little bit richer there. I'm using the K5 needles, which is stock, on the middle slot, of course, and everything else is stock. And uh, this is it runs fine as I found with any jets as I said I can set it up with any jet now to run really nice and that's how it's running now um, so that's really it I've come out to uh, have a nice ride through the country here on a sunny day during a work day just realized school is out and so um, it might be a problem I gotta watch out for horses and kids and dogs and stuff uh, and the bike needs a clean it's already getting a, getting dirty Picking up road soot all over it. Gosh, everywhere. Um, what else is there? In the videos, um, just to touch on the accelerator pump, there's a, in the AFR testing videos, I, on suggestion um, from someone, you know, people kept saying, check the uh, accelerator pumps. Other people say, get rid of it. But no, I think they're there for a purpose. And so I calibrated those because there was some severe bogging on when you grab a handful of throttle and that fixed that completely, which is great. There's a video about that, shows how it fixed it. So that's really nice. Um, and the outcome overall from the whole testing 
is no great relevations other than that accelerated pump is necessary and it works when you set it up right and that the you can set it to work with any set it up to work with any jets it's really the power that's the difference so my advice would be to set it up how it runs best which would seem obvious to people but uh, I had the opportunity to use the AFR equipment so I took the opportunity and that was very interesting right, let's see here we go it's nice to have the original exhaust back on after all that testing sounds great runs great sounds great such a great experience Okay, so I've got the thing behind me recording. 